happy life. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to another live stream. Today is February 29th, 2020, and we're doing a live stream, open discussion on current events, news, politics, economics, and more. And just to give everyone a sort of a little intro that are watching this video on another platform, maybe BitChute or YouTube, uh, we'll see if it goes there or not, or any other platform. Uh, as to who I am and why we're doing this when we started doing this, basically, I've been blogging since uh, 2005 or so, writing articles, specifically got into it because of politics, economics, sleepy waves, how are you doing? Uh, politics, economics in 2005, 2006, and I was very active pre the 2008 financial collapse. Hannah, how's life? Good afternoon. And uh, I wrote a fair bit about what was coming to a certain degree and the economic turmoil that was about to happen. And when it took place, I thought a lot of things was going to change because it was so obvious what was going on politically, economically, but sort of things continued as they were. And I kept on writing about politics, economics and stuff and started making videos online and sharing them on YouTube, Vimeo and uh, Daily Motion. And I stayed with uh, YouTube and I kept on doing a lot of mathematics videos, some additional types of videos, a lot of things related. And uh, basically in 2000, and, uh, after writing a fair bit about politics for a number of years, uh, from 2000 and basically six to 2014, I put out the following article, which I'll link in the chat. And I'm gonna read the chat as soon as I finish my little intro, uh, gang, when, uh, uh, for those that are watching this video, maybe for the first time or another platform, uh, they don't know my take and my history with things. I basically wrote the fall following article and I called it the, I titled it synopsis of our present predicament, what the future holds a final word. And this was sort of an, I considered this an intro to politics on Chicho. And I basically ended this article with the following paragraph. Um, a second last paragraph, quote, since I have no desire to document the play by play symphony of carnage that is being unleashed and is about and is to come. And since I have said what needed to be said, or as Aaron Daddy Roy would say, quote, I feel that I don't have anything direct to say without repeating myself, end quote, we'll consider this post to be the introduction to politics on Chicho, and it will be the last strictly geopolitical discussion we have on this site for quite some time, at least until Russia, China, Iran, or another formidable enemy of our choosing or making is due into directing confronting NATO or until the next major false flag operation sends the world into a frenzy and it pretty much stayed silent regarding politics geopolitics and stuff until a couple of years ago when we started live streaming on twitch because things had progressed from that paragraph uh, since I wrote that piece and uh, usually what I do with politics I take a look at the world situation. I try to figure out what's going on economically, politically, because that directly affects us individually. And I try to sort of look into the future to see what may be coming in the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years or so. That way I can prepare for it. All right. And I had sort of assumed things were going to go in a certain direction and they went a little bit beyond what I had hoped they wouldn't go to. And in a couple of years ago, we were about a year and a half ago, we started live streaming uh, politics stuff on Twitch and started making some videos on uploading them to BitChute and YouTube. And uh, for the last year and a half or so, we sort of, through these live streams, through these Q and A's, through these discussions, uh, and through consuming a lot of information and news and data, I've sort of sorted out for myself where we're going to go for the next few years up to the next 10, 15 years or so. Uh, and we've talked about a lot of things that have taken place up to this point, uh, globally, economically, during the live streams. And we sh we've shared a lot of that information. Uh, so consider this live stream from now on regarding geopolitics is sort of us. Unfortunately, as I said here, we don't, you know, since I have 
quote from the 2014 says, I have no desire to document the play-by-play -play symphony of carnage that is being unleashed and is to come. Unfortunately, things are not going to get better anytime soon, and we need to keep the dialogue open uh, because there is a lot of changes taking place. So we'll consider these live streams from now on to be us continuing from everything we've talked about in the last, co last couple of years and a continuation of what I mentioned in this in this article okay uh, aside from that sorry about the long winded uh, introduction I figured um, we do this uh, do another uh, intro to these live streams just because uh, we're not 100% sure where this is going to be loaded on okay aside from that gang uh, welcome Oh, I lost a whole bunch of chats. Sorry about that. I popped out the chat and I lost the uh, lost the intros. Uh, my apologies, gang. If there's anything commented or questions or anything you want to talk about, please post it again and uh, we'll address it. What carnage? War? Economic collapse? Um, all of that and more. We're talking environmental changes taking place economic political for sure uh the expansion of the wars that we talked about during the last couple of years on twitch where that the situation in the middle east was not going to be contained and it was going to engulf more countries and it is engulfing more countries right it's expanding war is a cancer if if, if we don't hit the root cause of it it's just going to continue to expand right good saturday evening liquid swords how are you doing what is your favorite branch of mathematics uh, my favorite branch. i like data analysis so i guess it would be statistics uh, but data analysis interpretation i bought a little bag of armenian coffee from serge daikian's coffee company to try so he's got a coffee company tech or tech sorry green tech awesome reposted that one <laughs> sorry it's not political i just wanted to share that no that's awesome that's fantastic i had no idea serge had a, had a coffee company green tech funny what's your take on the peace development in afghanistan we'll see if it holds um we'll see if it holds uh lions dante how are you doing halim steadfast how are you welcome to another live stream um the peace deal in afghanistan um, we'll see if it holds if there wasn't so much other stuff going on in the world i would say it's not going to hold it's just a temporary thing but i think what's going on right now is everybody's overextended right everybody's overextended uh especially the u.s military is overextended right so there's major things happening in south america central america the middle east as we said the war is expanding so i don't know if the united states is going to have the resources available to them to continue to throw trillions of dollars into that burning basket right as we know the afghan papers came out right that said that since the afghanistan war had started for the last 20 years really every administration that's come up has been lying to the citizens of the united states that the war in afghanistan is going well right they've been lying straight out like that's what the afghan paper said and during that period they've wasted what was it three to six trillion dollars of u.s tax dollar um, taxpayer money just burned up right that hasn't really done anything other than expand the wars and expand fanaticism right randall thank you very much for the uh, twitch prime sub seven months running concurrent mm -hmm right so we'll see if it holds um you know i wouldn't bet on it i wouldn't you know i won't be surprised if it doesn't hold or if it does hold but there's a lot of other things going on in that area right with india and kashmir and what's going on with the muslims in india and how brutal they're being treated that's not gonna end well right well i shall let you know what it's like 
uh, though I've never had Armenian coffee so I don't have anything to compare it to uh, looks good though um, it's basically same thing as Turkish coffee or Greek coffee every country calls it their own coffee like the Greeks call it Greek coffee Turks call it Turks coffee Armenians call it Armenian coffee uh, Iranians in general they tend to call it Turkish coffee right and I I think it's more legit to call it Turkish coffee but Turk Turkey was really just a mishmash of Mongolian of different empires going through so where is it original from just keep in mind with that type of coffee you want to uh, make it very heavy it's like a, I don't know if it's called a cappuccino or not it's like shots right so you have to stir it up and I personally would add sugar I like sugar if you're not adding sugar you need pastries you need something like this with bitter Armenian or Turkish or Greek coffee you need blueberry pie <laughs> that's what i got going right now <laughs> blueberry pie and feta cheese with the uh, marzipan right we ended up getting ourselves some pie so this is the last piece some of the stats things i learned at uh, uw university of waterloo blew my mind analyzing field uh way more difficult for my simple mind to uh, understand hannah or university of uh, washington hey gang brooker how you doing booker not broker i be broker booker hey gang i have the feeling that the uh, coronavirus is an excuse for the coming financial crisis it is definitely being used as oh look there's a crisis now major pandemic so now we can sell stuff right or dump stuff let's say the problem of making two optimistic economic predictions wasn't fixed by but instead solving the problem by throwing more money at it yeah printed by even more unrealistic future predictions now they want a reason to tell the finance finance collapse because of the virus not because of the mistakes of certain names and I wouldn't call them mistakes uh, I uh, I booker right I wouldn't call it mistakes this is by design like anybody that was following it it's the what are they calling it this is the long longest hated bull market in world history right and the hated most hated bull market in world history right because it is completely unjustified it's just obvious what's been going on right money going into <laughs> those who have money right money begets money and those people have been filtering that money through the financial system more so than they have in the previous decades right just blatantly into everyone's face right so everyone's been going wait a second this game is rigged right beyond the obvious right sword drit hey chicho new here welcome welcome must thank you for recommending the book dune in one of your older videos on youtube just finished it and i loved it awesome trust me i dropped everything as you said and i was not disappointed nice nice awesome i'm so glad you liked it it's fantastic read and extremely relevant to our current state of being right fake or not in france at least the psychosis is real since the virus entered the country people are rushing to the supermarket to buy pasta and stuff yeah gives a temporary boost to the economy and i personally i don't think the coronavirus the covid 19 thing is is a fake uh thing i think it's a legitimate concern i didn't for me i wasn't sure what i read at the beginning i was just agreeing with uh, booker that it is being used as the excuse right but that doesn't mean it's not a legitimate concern you you should be uh people should be keeping a close eye on the data which is the reason why we're going to do a live stream tomorrow at 8 a.m looking at the data right i'm going to include uh try to make as long as i don't release the data too late tonight i'm going to try to include the data for tonight as uh, for today as well in the data we're going to analyze tomorrow then why are they here Hannah um I'm not sure what the question is because I lost my you know we already talked about a few things sorry about that oh you enjoyed it I also bought it but I've not started it yet hey Chicho how's your doing ah great lasagna doing fantastic welcome welcome 
so their pain is working the most beautiful thing is when people's bank accounts get frozen then they can't come to the streets to revolt and there's a reason to lock them up without trial for the general good that they were spreading disease Ch -ch -ch. Martin, how are you doing? Espresso, is that what it's called? The little shot things? Espresso? Yeah. Make it like an espresso, but it's not like an Italian espresso, which is uh, more lighter. I find the Turkish, the Armenian, the Greek, Turkey uh, coffees to be stronger. Thank you, Martin. And welcome. Right. Yeah, it's amazing. The fact that it's written in the 60s is unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, green tech, I agree. Or stored uh stored drift agree damn this pie looks good very good the pie looks awesome uh i take your advice thank you man awesome i got my best haircut choo -choo -choo. haircut ever for an armenian barber in jerusalem he was so nice and friendly and he used a straight razor to cut my hair nice i paid him and offered him lunch he declined because he had more customers to attend cool university of washington okay I don't know I'm not allergic to conspiracy theories but it would be very hard for every country to conspire in it yeah that's uh, one one thing that's going on with uh, COVID-19 Halim uh, steadfast the data that we'll look at the data but we're just starting to get the information coming out of the data coming out of countries that it, outside of china right the data coming outside of china because we can't rely on the data coming out of china anymore you can see the you can see it in the data right like that's the beauty of mathematics you look at the data you know when there's something wrong the data is psh, okay that data is no longer reliable you have to go to another source to get accurate data regarding a certain situation right so that's one thing we're going to look at uh tomorrow there is cause for concern there's no doubt about it you only need a couple of countries making quarantines the main news network spreading the narrative and rest will follow out of momentum festivals in my area are canceled because of the corona yeah captain america how were you doing 77 i went with the high schooler as a tutor because he's really good at math and is good at explaining oh, awesome captain hawk good 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 this is your brother's friend right Oh, I think the virus is real, but I think it's being used by both sides of the political spe spectrum for excuses and gains somehow. Yeah, and I've gone down the rabbit hole regarding COVID-19. Um, there are multiple possibilities of what this is all about. Uh, there's speculation, a lot of speculation, but it follows the rhythm of the economic and political play. Uh, geopolitically right so there's a lot of things that uh, there are at our play right now really it's incredible it's incredible the news cycle is insane in Sweden we only have a very few cases of the coronavirus the effects as far as I know are very similar to a regular cold it's not deadly in itself but the older weaker people are at risk though yeah liquid swords and one thing with CV if we call it CV one thing with CV is um, its transmission rate seems to be fairly high incubation period is a long time the asystematic asymptomatic right so you could still be passing it on to others okay the other thing is this may not be a little blip that is happening now and it goes away right this may be a yearly event that occurs this may need to play out through the whole population of the world right and basically will become the next version of the flu but stronger right or there's a few other possibilities what happened to the wave in latin america do, do, do. i work in dublin the wave in Latin. they don't do it anymore in stadiums i work in dublin airport and all staff myself included haven't been given any protection of the virus gloves masks wow and both incoming and outgoing flights aren't being screened or checked for potential infected lions hopefully there are some precautions being taken you know as we know in korea possibly and the the news coming out of each country has to be taken with a grain of salt as well because each centralized government has their own agenda right so uh, you know i don't want to pick countries uh 
individual countries because they're all guilty. They're all manipulating news. That's why censorship is so horrendous. We need free flow of information so everyone can make decisions based on scientific data, right? But right now, everything's being filtered, right? Everything's being filtered. My theory is just a theory, but it somehow makes more sense for me. Uh, I, Booker, what if this is part of the plan, right? What if this wasn't a coincidence, as Robert Anton would say, you know, there might not be such things as coincidences when there's a lot of coincidences happening at the same time. Maybe you could say that is a planned objective, right? So there's a lot of coincidences happening right now. Is it just a stars aligning in a certain way or is there a plan behind or it's just the luck of the draw the ladies and gentlemen there's no cause for alarm actually there's a cause for alarm it just won't do any good cv cv martin i've heard beer protects you or cider or shots I think that is not a coincidence that it started in China also. That's nation, national banks are largest in the world and the party member members would be held directly responsible for their mistakes. I Possibly, it is not a coincidence that it started in China. I agree with you there. I haven't and spread heavily into Iran. Okay. Uh, we'll see where it goes. I haven't actually seen any, seen any racism due to CV myself, though I, though I feel media really pushes that angle. I don't know anyone else's experience. Uh, OFC, I don't, I don't know what OFC stands for, but I went to see a band a week ago, plenty of Asians there and nobody cared as normal. Green tech, personally, I'm with you. I haven't seen any racism. The only word of racism that I've ever heard come out is from corporate propaganda. And that's not because I watch corporate propaganda. It's because people are referencing it. I wish people would stop referencing corporate because I personally, in my circles, know very few people, if any. Well, no, I know some people that actually watch this corporate brainwashing that's going on, right? People need to stop reading listening to cnn bbs abc uh, cbc channel 4 news just western and any mainstream propaganda sources they're just garbage just pure guardian just pure garbage right just pure garbage hi chicho hope you are well she knew how are you doing doing well thank you very much they will come up with a vaccine and it will be good i'm not that worried as a young healthy person maybe it just becomes the flu the next version of the flu chicho no i meant the protests that were happening in latin america bolivia colombia ecuador they're still going on as far as i know sleepy ways not as extreme as before and that's that might be connected to cv right if you go down that rabbit hole whoa what's going on a lot of protests in the world cv hits no mass gatherings right if i had to guess then i would think that the uh, cocaine culture among the financial sphere is the root cause of its mistakes uh, i don't think so i think that's a control mechanism in utopia you just see the future in unrealistic optimistic views um i wouldn't necessarily agree with that booker Good afternoon, Chicho. Hoop hoop bird, how are you doing? Glad to finally catch one of your streams. Happy to have you. We got a couple of, at least a couple of uh, people here in you. Hi, it's my friends. No, no more, no more, no more friends' birthday names. I can't do it. Of course. Oh, OFCs. Of course. Of course. Of course. Thank you, Green Tech. I live in Switzerland. I can feel the people's fear here, panicking and buying food and supplies like crazy. Liquid swords. Where are you from, by the way? Uh, born in Iran, Armenian descent, most of my life in Canada. I'm West Coast Canadian liquid swords. And my mentality is very much West Coast Canadian. 
Hi, it's my friends. <laughs> Kevin is boss. BBS. CNN is my guilty pleasure. Captain America. Don't watch CNN. The, turn on an anime. Watch an anime. Watch, watch specific individual people. Go to you want on CNN level, but more few orders of magnitude, more intelligent, coherent, real issues. Watch Crosstalk on RT. Watch Chris Hedges on RT, uh, and that's just because of uh, the people doing it. Right? It's not the platform. You have to move around. Listen to uh, Global Research News Hour podcast. There's so much better stuff. Captain America, don't do it because it is what it says. It is programming. And even though if you're aware, subconsciously they're planting seeds, they're making you anxious. And slowly over time, it's like Chinese water torture, right? Drop at a time, drop at a time. They will drive you insane, right? Turn it off. It's like an addiction, right? It's not a pleasure, it's an addiction. Substitute your addictions, these types of addictions that you may have, with different types of addictions that are, if you want to call them addictions or passions or information or something on that same level, that actually feeds your soul, not sucks you dry, right? Really stop listening watching like i don't even read like really it it's poison i've talked to people i as someone who's older i've been telling people not to listen to cnn and all this crap for a couple of decades now at least right and i see the effects on people over an extended period of time of what their mindset their 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 they just essence becomes after been they've been exposed to this crap for an extended period of time don't do it it's like being being an opium addict or a heroin addict right slowly rot your teeth and destroy your bones and make you crumble right don't do it I've only been prejudiced towards people who don't wash their hands after the restroom. This isn't something new for me, but it's for sure amplified these days. The sad part for me, as far as the racism angle goes, is that Chinese people I do know who live in China believe that when their media reports on it, which is sad because it makes them think all Chinese are being discriminated against over in the, they need to stop watching that crap. And a lot of them believe uh, their media says off the bat, yeah, it's programming. I used to work with two former cops. Have I missed a lot of chat? I've missed a lot of chat, gang. Okay, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Spider-Man, how you doing? Hello, I can only stop by for a brief one. I know, you said you couldn't make it. What are you doing here? Go take care of business, brother. Go take care of business. Captain Soju, welcome, welcome. Nice. Uh, Spider-Man, you come in and time out someone right away. Sweet. Uh, do you think Canada will ever legalize cocaine eventually? How many years away? Are I, I don't know. I don't know. Before that gets legalized, you, you, they need to repeal the uh, uh, fungi, uh, psychedelic mushrooms. It's like psychedelic mushrooms in Canada became illegal when I was halfway through high school. Right? We knew the day of. Right. you can guess why right in the 1980s they criminalized magic mushrooms right they need to repeal that first right slowly eventually because this censorship this draconian system that we live in if it continues it's sci-fi dystopian society which i don't think you'll ever reach that point at some point we're gonna everything's gonna become decentralized and everyone's gonna live as free human beings they might be different types of conflict but it won't be centralized conflict where the conflicts consume tens of millions of people there'll be more local flare flare-ups possibly right hey chicho popping in uh coolio how are you doing and to say hi and then i'm going uh to a coffee shop to get some work done awesome but planning on putting stream on in the background while around. awesome coolio thanks for dropping by hope you have fun, some fantastic delicious coffee and pastries <laughs> with feta cheese 
I'd enjoy the stream if you're gonna listen. Chicho, do you know the West Coast is the best coast? I do, I do. I won't call it best coast because every place has their own amazing stuff. Guys, I'm gonna scroll down. Okay, because I need to take a piece of the pie and I'm just gonna read the chats that are coming up. If there's anything directed towards me, please let me know. Uh, I'm gonna pop a marzipan first. Check this out. Pie and feta cheese. Take a look. Oh, I got a fruit fly coming in. I want the blueberries. All right. Nice. And it's got almond flakes on it, right? Pie and feta cheese is amazing. I already had coffee this morning, so I'm sticking to tea. But thank you. Awesome. The pie is looking awesome, dude. Thanks. Bon appetit. Wow, that's a unique combo, but sounds good. Fantastic. Feta cheese and pie. You're such a real guy, Chicho. I hope you never get banned on YouTube. I hope so too, Captain America. I don't even know. Like I said in the previous stream that we did i think environmental i said during the stream that we're not going to load it on youtube i looked at it i'm because my youtube views are down hardcore right i'm not even being recommended anywhere now right you can tell but if you can so it goes out to the people and then it just drops off the cliff right which is totally different than what was happening before we start talking about julian Assange specifically Right, so once we start putting on Julian Assange stuff, boom, we got nailed. Right, so be it. Uh, so the environmental one, I'm going to load on YouTube. This one, what do you say? What do you say? Should we load it on YouTube? Let's see where it goes. And I recommend anybody that's watching this, if we do end up loading this on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube, you want to make sure you stay connected with my work, with what we're doing, right you need to also be subscribed to BitChute. my BitChute subscribers is very low it's like 158 or something right now right we need to kick that up because if we get knocked off another platform somewhere we've put 800 plus videos a lot of mathematics education because youtube is only promoting centralized education videos now right so my math videos are should we load this on youtube i think so why not put fuel to the fire right let's check it out if you're on youtube still you need to follow on bitchute if you like this work okay the link will be in the description of this video okay. again more people would know you're heading towards the exact society of 1984 uh from orwell if they actually read some stuff yeah there's always bitchute there is bitchute all right, I'm drinking vodka, kefir, and soda water. Tudor has been pulling some very shady censorship lately with Assange and also with peop people tweeting about Bloomberg's connection to us. Yeah, oh, Coolio, Assange is a hot potato on these mainstream platforms. But man, I'm not going to stop talking about Assange because of these platforms. They can kiss my ass right so be it youtube is just absolute trash they promote channels that um, have tiktok stuff and throw out the real content people should listen to your stuff to know the real world and not the shit they get fed from the fake media captain soju yeah they need to listen and by the way if you're going to youtube reddit any of these main platforms on the front page and surfing what they recommend that's as bad as listening to cnn abc bbs and all that stuff. that'll rot your soul right stop doing it i've seen people's souls rotted out right this is i'm an old school old timer that's been online more than anyone else that i know right for this amount of time actually one other person i know right she may be watching right now and she knows exactly who she is we've been online forever 
Actually, I've probably been online longer because I got in a decade earlier from the early 1990s. I've seen people's soul get rotted out being programmed by the main platforms, right? Don't fall victim to it. Don't fall victim to it. Be proactive in your consumption of information. Don't let the centralized powers feed you their poison with a spoon, right? Taste good, little blips of excitement over an extended period of time. You're a shell of a human being, right? I believe that soft drugs like marijuana should uh, should to some extent be legalized all over. Police in Sweden, for example, gets flooded with reports and unnecessary investigation that's only going to lead to minor reprimands. Yeah, 100% for sure. Personally, end prohibition on everything. That's my take. In my opinion, wasted time. Do the journalists who vilify Assange realize they're digging their own grave? They're not digging their own grave because they're not journalists, right? This is, see, people use the English language in a wacko way. You can't call those people who vilify Assange journalists, right? Or the platforms they write on. They're not journalists. They're propagandists, right? They're just paid. They're talking heads or ghost writers. See, <laughs> like centralized. They're not journalists. We can't call those people journalists. Like, you're, they're just propagandists, right? They're actors playing a role. Uh, do journalists who vilify Assange realize they're digging their own grave in terms of freedom of the press? WikiLeaks source, sourcing and releasing policies are and always have been responsible by the book and standard practice for a journalistic world. Coolio, I agree with you 100%, right? Reddit. Oh, is everything voted to the top by users? <laughs> Though it is not. It is not. And Reddit all? my blog in the early days of reddit when i was writing political stuff it has made it to the top of reddit all before like 10 12 years ago right so the stuff i was writing on my blog were making it to the front pages of reddit right but reddit over the years and we talked about this or i've read wrote about this and on reddit people have talked about it and stuff over the years it's just implemented stuff to take away the data and manipulate right it's the reddit is whatever it is right don't go to the front page it's a tool but don't go to the front page that's crazy sorry that period was supposed to be a question mark i lost it i usually try to consume all kinds of media and get the truth between the difference different contrasting truth booker uh, if you're looking for truth on any of the main platforms, uh, cable news, CNN, ABC, BBS, and stuff, uh, like why consume 100% of information to get 20% of truth and 80% of it lies? Why not up that your percentage, right? It's just efficiency, right? Up your percentage of truth, right? If you go to CNN, like, this is how much garbage CNN is, right? They told people that it was illegal to read documents off WikiLeaks, right? Just pure lies. They propagated, as Julian Assange said, if it wasn't because, because of mainstream propaganda, most wars in the last 50 years would never have started, right? Because they lied to their citizens. Like, why go to the garbage dump to find something useful <laughs> like it doesn't make sense right don't consume 80 90 percent garbage propaganda to try to get five or ten or fifteen percent of truth you can you can be way more efficient on other platforms really tru i stopped caring about youtube recommended since the moment they added the failure uh, feature years ago censorship is real in all the platforms um platforms takes time to find goodies like your channel honestly thanks for the love uh, captain soju i had to dig to find channels that provide good information yeah post apocalypse me too 100 percent. i've just been at it a long time so i have a lot of good sources right wells 91 hey chicho long time watcher on your youtube channel but this is the first time i'm actually catching a live stream and not recording good, not a recording good to be here awesome thanks for popping in wells 
thanks for popping in sleepy waves off topic i've been feeling stagnant with my career personal life this past year i'm transitioning careers from film to music feeling like i have outgrown a lot of my routines and modes of thinking awesome sleepy waves i feel like i feel like because i am not even sure what i want need from life right now i can't offer anything valuable concrete to anyone i meet want to connect with i disagree sleepy ways are you passionate do you love music do you love good food are you a good person are you kind are you caring what do you what do you think you have nothing valuable to offer what what does that mean i don't know you, are you are you good do you consider yourself to be an amazing human being that's good enough if someone wants more than that tell them to go to hell all right <laughs> you if like i'm not sure what it is you're you're uh, any advice for overcoming this low self-esteem to be able to move forward and figure out my own purpose sleepy waves uh, experiment play around with different things you like you're going from film to music reach out you know if you find someone who's a who's a music creator and you think you can improve their work send them a message saying hey listen download their track up improve it and then send it to them and say hey listen i listen to your stuff you're an amazing you know i love your work i'm a sound engineer or something and i thought i'd give your put the icing on the cake for your for your things let me know if you like it right just reach out start with hobbies really start blogging start writing start going off for walks join different there's so much sleepy waves Halim, by the way, in France right now, they're talking about a new law called fake news law. Now, Europe is going draconian hard. That is supposed to censor to propagators of fake news. And they said that the coronavirus was a sensitive topic that was perfect for to implement this law. But the reality is that eventually their goal is to censor political views that bother them. Their, their ultimate goal is to censor everything, right? This is like technology the internet right now data collection and the way it's been rolled out on all these main platforms and all this jazz that is leading that has been the plan for a number of years to censor everything to control everything right that it's not about just fake news or silencing people it's to control everything right and that's not a good thing spider-man i just use it for cute cat videos <laughs> nice. if you know what you love on there go on there and just fill it to the rim right awesome right. but do not take the recommendations sometimes i get the truth from lies from seeing the motivation of the lies yeah uh booker i agree personally i have i've already gone through that phase i'm pretty sure i must be older than you i already went through that phase so i can only handle listening to bs for so long right i already went through it took it apart the garbage they were saying the way they were saying that the words they were using how they were the, the words they were uh, not using during their uh news reports and stuff right and i just went oh man this is like just watching garbage but just constantly the same garbage rehash right so once i decipher that i didn't need to consume it anymore experience it right it's like when you're a kid when you put your finger in the fire and the flame and it burns maybe you do it again one more time just to make sure or you see how close you can get right you play with it right every now and then it's still okay you light a candle and you go heat from the candle but once you burn yourself a few times you learn the lesson oh it burns okay thank you i'll move on from now on right what else can i do with that information I've been reading a lot about the Spanish flu outbreak of 1918, and it makes me very nervous for the upcoming months. Yeah, Matthew, Matthew Horn, 99. And the Spanish flu of 1918, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe uh, some reports came out that it started off from a military base, right? The left blames the right, the right blames the left, and the actual majority gets silenced by the extremist minority of mainstream media who have louder uh, platforms. Yeah. 
in my opinion they, why do they have louder platforms because people still tune into that garbage or is it fake subscribers and stuff right like if you look at some channels they have a huge number of subscribers but very few views right uh or followers and very few like the data is wacko right and it could be they're not promoting it right the platforms in my opinion most people are rational and open-minded but it's easy to forget that because the ones that aren't are the loudest ones in the room can we talk about chicho's awesome <laughs> thanks <laughs> it's like with uh interrogation you can get the information when the person talks doesn't depend if they talk the truth or not but you can already read a lot of truth from lies they give you booker sure right but you have to interrogate someone for 18 hours break them down to be able to put it all together and get the truth why not listen to someone for 10 minutes and get the truth straight out if they're talking the truth all right look what you're doing is is a legit tactic to do for me i'm older i have less time available for me in this amazing life that we live if we're lucky enough right or just to have life is amazing right so i have less time <laughs> right and we did a video on this right why time varies for older people and younger people perception of time varies as age right we did an asmr math video on this right so i have less time i rather talk to someone for 10 minutes get the actual truth they interrogate someone for 18 hours to see how they're lying to put the truth together it's not worth it for me right sky's the limit spider-man love it Julio. x how are you doing having compassion for yourself and others can help improve your outlook yeah 100 percent agree Julio says nice to see Ooh, i'm gonna scroll down a little bit oh man dante did we have a uh, troll come in thanks for taking care of business i'm gonna scroll down again catch up again my apologies if i'm scrolling down if there's anything uh that was directed towards me please let me know and uh i'll uh, i'll read it up what did i miss i missed it too martin i was way behind in the chat marzipan Oop. this bakery for some reason loves almonds they put almonds in everything right marzipan and almonds right but i'm gonna let me show you guys this <laughs> difficult to do like that oh look at this delicious goodness oh look at that i'm gonna put a feta cheese on it i'm gonna pop this whole thing drop a feta cheese dangerous thing to do with a goatee like this the big bites but we do it live mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. marzipan is like almond paste stuff it's like i really don't know how they do it I think they take almonds and mix it up with i don't know i don't know how they do it but it's got almond paste in it and then it's like something you use for a lot of uh, a lot of pastries and you can actually buy it and eat it by itself and it goes really good with chocolate it's uh it's pretty good and it's got a lot of sugar in it <laughs> um, that looks delicious yeah bird super good Google says it's made with sugar, honey, and almonds. Sugar, honey, and almonds. Honey. If you can get, uh, I'm pretty sure there's uh, fake marzipans out there then. But sugar, honey, and almonds. Delicious. Saint Just Germany, how are you doing? Doing well. Thank you very much. Almonds and sugar. Nice. In Northern England, they have cheddar cheese with uh fruitcake mm, nice yeah cheddar cheese with pie goes amazing as well 
by the way just in case i've missed and i'm pretty sure i've missed i've seen things pop up but we we're talking reading and i couldn't figure it out if it was subs follows or whatever it is but thank you very much for the subs thank you very much for the follows for those of you who've subbed and uh followed and thank you very much for the conversation everyone trump 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 Nathan 88 interesting i've heard of it sugar and honey sugar almonds sugar or honey oh sugar or honey okay like of the name no idea what it was cool all right forcing myself to get to work now okay coolio off to work you go you gotta drink your tea and uh, do some writing i think or research so there's a lot of other stuff going on right turkey's gone full retard oh full uh turkey's gone full full something some words we can't say on uh, on twitch <laughs> crazy full retired yeah turkey's gone full retired right it's enjoyable work work i'm editing my podcast audio been putting it off a while ah nice coolio awesome and i went by the way i i opened up an account on soundwave to be able to upload just the audio of these things that we do onto Soundwave, I just haven't got around to it. And I drew, I bought the membership that cost I forget what it was, 180 bucks a year. I did this a few months ago, and I haven't started doing it yet. Once I get a few other things rolling and done out of the way, I'll get to that as well. I'll try to. What's happening in DR, the Dominican Republic, uh, DR Congo, DR, sleepy waves. That's, is that Domin this can't be Dominican Republic because they just uh, stopped the vote there uh, Congo is going crazy full neo Ottomist, <laughs> full neo Ottomist, <laughs> full neo Ottomist. yeah it's going the young Turks right something about fraud in it yeah yeah they suspended it right so I haven't looked beyond that really but this uh, like south central america caribbean stuff this is going to go through some serious turmoil right so there's a battle being waged between full-on neoliberalism and neoconservatism and uh evangelical neo-zionism uh to socialism communism um fascism in some places so the battle is everywhere all over right Full flame retardant, full flame retardant, <laughs> rickety rocket. <laughs> Me too, thanks. I was staying in the library a lot, studying, staying in the library a lot the last couple of days. Read about four four hours or 150 pages in each session. Nice. Some history and some political uh, bios. Nice, St. Just Germany. Awesome. He's talking about retiming the timing chain. Retiming the timing chain. <laughs> retirement <laughs> this guy is a very calming voice thanks methane if there was to be a world war three how do you think canada would fare canada is it, it would hopefully it would fare okay hopefully we don't have world war three some people would say we're already in world war three i'd be one of those people okay and how would canada fare economically i will see compared to most other countries canada should fare fairly well right um i just hope it never comes to that economically it would devastate it right uh there'll be a lot of racism popping up to the surface again okay so there's going to be internal turmoil and stuff like this but i don't think canada will be affected uh, on its soil right yeah dominican republic sleepy waves merely human how are you doing hello i hope your day is well thank you very much i am currently a double major in college for psychology and philosophy i stopped in a few days ago for math assistant and wanted to inform you that you help uh you help i uh, took my grade from a c to a b plus in a single test awesome merely human right on 
thank you for popping by and uh, letting us know that makes me happy not because of the mark okay because the mark doesn't matter you could have came on here and said i went from a c to a c i stayed a c but i understood what i was doing i answered every questions i just made little mistakes so it's not necessarily more mark is fantastic by the way don't get me wrong all right congrats on that but it sounds like you're excited about it that is my main uh, agenda that i push when i try to teach mathematics because once you're excited about something you're more open to learning that thing and are able to connect more of the dots right awesome thank you merely human for popping by and saying so olive how are you doing i was thinking about you today you know why i was thinking about you as soon as i rotated this guy over i went i wonder where olive is i haven't seen her for a while you already believe that there's a global system as you call it with its own agenda but who do you think is is it that runs that at the top i don't think it's who I think it's organizations some universal masonic club like the illuminati uh from what i've researched it's something like that but more complex what's your take more complex halim it's more complex that's so awesome to hear chicho is amazing how spider-man spider-man i thought you were only popping by for a short while what are you doing here you got business to do don't you chicho uh, Bert, Chicho, how do you stay optimistic when there's so much garbage going on in the world? Once you figure out what's happening and why it's happening, it right, and you do what you can to counter the negative effect of all that, you have no choice but to be happy, right? I've gone through my periods, don't get me wrong, I've gone through my nihilistic periods, and oh my god, look at all, and then I figured out what my what my power was right that each of us have a tremendous amount of power right which is what centralized institutions fear the most right really and once you realize that right and there's a couple other layers to that one of the things would be once you realize what bill hicks really meant that this is just a ride right once you find out what it really means when Robert Anton Wilson says that the universe doesn't really give a rat's ass about you. Yeah. Once you realize how our economic system is structured, once you realize how our political system is structured, how food security is structured, what our education system is all about, once you figure all this stuff out and you realize your powerful entity, powerful human being, man. You just got flame lit under your ass, right? You got no choice but to go full on, right? You get one ride at this, right? Enjoy the ride, right? Sometimes I get so discouraged learning about how dysfunctional, violent, and materialistic the world is today and feel like uh, the little things I do to try to combat it are like yelling into the wind those little things change things bird a lot right don't get me wrong like people that know me they know that my patience depending on who i'm talking to can be very short as soon as i hear someone propagate propaganda regurgitate propaganda and propaganda to a level where it's like just imagine if someone now was came up to you and said oh Iraqi military was throwing little babies out of incubators from the hospital, right? Like, if they regurgitate that, which is a complete lie, by the way, but that was the reason they justified the first Gulf War, right? When they had their own puppet people come on TV and say, Iraqi military was doing these horrendous things, so we have to go save the children. If someone nowadays says that, to me, it's like someone comes up to me and says, I like to talk mathematics right but they had no idea what two plus two was right or what the equal sign meant you have to start with people at a certain place where their where their mental ability <laughs> doesn't crash right sh they don't short circuit right so don't get me wrong there there is cause to 
to be concerned about that there's so many people that still don't understand what is taking place however it's less people now than it was in the past right you have to appreciate that okay before the internet to a large degree came 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 online in this form right in the last 15 years right a lot of history was hidden from people now a lot of that history is in the limelight right that's a good thing so don't focus on the negatives what the bad things are that are taking place look at the good things that are taking place and there is a lot of good stuff taking place in the world right canada catches nuclear fallout from us and russia garlic bro better nuclear fallout than direct hits right and if there is anything like that ever happens there will be direct hits everywhere right okay gang i want to scroll down again just to catch uh, my apologies spider-man i really i'm really into the into video games chicho and many video game conferences have been canceled due to fears of coronavirus game developers conference conference in san fran and a few others what are your thoughts um japan iran i believe south korea and a couple other countries have canceled all schools right like japan has canceled schools for a month iran has canceled schools for a month at least as well right so a lot of big events are being canceled um what are what are my thoughts i think it's i think it's a good thing to do right i think it's a good thing for people just to take a breather right if cv is like it, it could be multiple things right if it's half of what some people say it might be it's a good thing okay we need more data to know what the hell's going on okay keep in mind this could be a form of control as well right introduction of draconian laws introduction of uh elimination of cash and uh, introduction of censorship it, it could be a lot of things but right now it's a good idea not to and you know protests have stopped in the world in many parts france is still going today right which is fantastic but we'll see what happens we'll see how it plays out sleepy waste um, chicho can you talk more about how the art of process art of process is in itself more important than the actual outcome for sure how what ways is uh, committing to a process vital in the way we maneuver uh, maneuver the world um okay okay that's a really broad question sleepy waves i'm not sure i mean i can tell you how i'm going about it i decided to share information in mid 2000s right we're in 2020 so i started blogging in 2005 2006 i wasn't really 100 percent sure where it was going to go but i knew where i wanted it to go right or the type of content anyway i never dropped i would make asmr videos or make math videos and stuff initially when i started writing i just think about the mathematics a little bit though in 15 years i'm still at it right you should see the number of people that have come on my youtube channel over the last for 13 years i've been on youtube right saying the very underrated you should have more subscribers but to me it's not the subscribers i'm 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 chasing right it'd be great right because revenue would come in and stuff like this and we get our voice out more but my whole process the art of the process is to be true to thyself right what do you want to create what do you want to do do it to the best of your abilities right i mean that's all i can do really that's all any of us can do really yeah that sounds probably right i'm getting drunk here so if i express myself without making proper sense then i apologize no worries uh, are, in farsi there's a saying mastio rusty right mastio rusty it means drunkenness is truthfulness so raise his glasses i'll raise you my tea 
Trump rolled out the travel ban to Italy. Oh, let's see what happens. Sorry, he's considering it. He's considering it. Okay. Do you ever dip your beard in hot sauce? No, Shih Tzu. Why would I do that? <laughs> it's like asking me, would I ever take a knife and poke it into my eye? I guess maybe some people do, but why would I do that? I want to lick hot sauce. On. Are you Persian? I was born in Iran. Armenian ancestry and West Coast Canadian. If all you aim for is a desired outcome and don't enjoy the process, you're going to be mighty uh, depressed when you reach the goal and have nothing else to shoot for. Yeah, she knew. Well put, my friend. Shizu. Doop. Shizu, I'm going to time you out. Time out. I'm pretty sure there are other forums you can go and enjoy those types of conversation, right? Right now, we're not into it. Maybe 20 years from now, I'll be into it. Who knows? Right? Pop by in a couple of years. Well, don't really know I ended up here. Well, you don't know how you ended up here? Hopefully, Twitch is making good recommendations. Your inspiration, Chicho Booker. You use your free time to improve others and improve yourself in the process of it. I concern, I, it's just selfish as well, brother. Like seriously, or sister, of course. For me, once I started blogging, people started calling me out for some of the stuff I was saying, right? So I did more research. I went more hardcore, right? So g blogging, writing, creating content is like a thesis that continues to write itself, right? Like, I, it, it was a serious upgrade to the processing system, right? Reporting for classroom teacher Chicho, three stooges. How are you doing? Yo, brov, temp, master Shifu, show me the way. We've been talking about it for a while. Since it's the weekend, I would love to see a tipsy Chicho on stream, but I guess that won't, uh, won't ever happen, right? Uh, maybe maybe right now i'm not drinking very much right i have a little bit of liqueur every now and then if you caught me earlier in my life you would have seen more than just a tipsy chicho how do you think they would Im impose complete censorship in a so-called liberal society halim they're in a big way they're already imposing major censorship in a liberal society look at canada it's considered liberal right you won't hear a peep from the mainstream corporate propagandist about Julian Assange. That's complete censorship. The biggest news story, trial, one of the biggest in the last hundred years, trials ever in human history. And you won't even hear about it on the corporate propagandist channels in one of the liberalist countries in the world. That's complete censorship, right? Complete censorship, censorship doesn't mean they control 100% of the population because there's going to, always going to be a small select group that are able to get their hands on the facts, on the data, right? The censorship they impose controls 80% of the population, 90% of the population. Once you control that, then you can commit genocide on the rest, right? So you're a mathematics professor or teacher? I'm not a mathematics professor. Uh, I have been teaching mathematics for 20 years. So, and I'm good at it. Chicho, is it capitalism inherently bad? Sometimes you talk about crony capitalism, but that isn't actually the thing. It, capitalism is not really a thing either. Like, what do you call this system that we have? Is it homogenous around the globe? No. There are certain institution pockets of people that are trying to... Uh, have their own system they want to enforce down the throat of the whole world right where humanity is diverse every place needs its own system just imagine if we had multiple diverse economic systems at play where they could still interact with people that would be amazing life expanding like it would it would be fantastic right we don't we don't have anything like the the ussr represent communism no 
Did it represent socialism? No. Does the United States represent pure capitalism? No. Who, who believes that? Capitalism? What, what are they talking about? What in what cap in it, in what capitalist documentation is there the the rule that when the banks loot the the coffers of a country that the country is supposed to take out trillions of dollars of loans and give it to the bankers in what what capitalistic textbook in like instruction manual is that written that oh when that happens you actually take those bankers and make them part of the administration because they were able to collapse the whole society so you can run the government what that's not capitalism that's fraud oligarchy i don't know what you call it what do you think about the simulation theory oh bird we talked about simulations simulation theory I have a vi we put up a video on uh, just in the last week or uh, week or so they're talking about ai simulations and stuff yeah we are all selfish i meant by by being noble as to be selfish with methods that give more effect thanks for the love brother i remember chicho he was a real booze <laughs> what they're doing to Assange is absolutely disgrace insane right and what's even more insane than what they are doing to Assange is that the corporate propagandists are silent about it what insanity insanity yes but isn't the real problem the fact that mainstream media are earned by a few billion uh, a few billionaires who happen to be pretty much the same type of people with the same interests yeah i also do things that's gain that's gains are hard to explain to others but i still see the gain myself on following the these missions uh, booker very well put like people never understood why it was i was doing what i was doing for the last 15 years right oh, Chicho, what are you doing this i can't explain it any further than what it is that i'm doing I was born in Soviet Estonia, so I'm a little touchy on the subject of socialism, and I'd be a little too radical as a capitalist. <laughs> Booker, I, I bet. Olive, I actually heard about Julian on the radio today. I was surprised when it happened, and the program was discussing whether media had been too, too neglecting of what was happening to Julian. Awesome, Olive. I'm glad it's coming up, right? I'm glad it's coming up in your part of the world anyway. Mm -hmm. Canada whoosh, silence Boop. I listen to the radio if I'm in a car driving with CBS I because as Booker says it's good to listen to the propaganda every now and then so that's my propaganda uh, dose which isn't long five minutes ten minutes too big to fail socialism for the rich my screen says the broadcast ended oh does it did we get cut off did we say something bad <laughs> I hope not <laughs> I show is still streaming. I might have said something bad that the censors said, don't say it. Right. Refresh. Okay. Maybe a random question, but do you understand how quantum entanglement works? I have to look it up again. I've looked into this stuff a while ago, right? Are we talking about the. I'm bad with the different terms of different things quantum entanglement that's the one where they say if you observe this object and this is linked up with this object and they even though this might be very far away what you do to this by observing it also affects this thing is that what we're talking about What kind of what kind of country society is one that Marx refers to? I don't know. Rickety Rocket, how are you doing? Did you ever hear about how Mao Zedong was helped into power by his associates with uh, 
association with Yale, China was a conquered nation, opium wars, and the West basically installed their own power structure there. So if the West goes to war with them, it will be a farce. If the wars are, in general, they're all farces. All of them. It, one of the biggest farce in the last 40 years, right? United States arms Iraq. United States invades Iraq. United States destroys Iraq. United States sanctions Iraq. United States invades Iraq. United States occupies Iraq. United States expands the war. Like, but wait a second. Saddam Hussein was a CIA puppet. United States armed Iraq. What? We talking about socialism? What association with the L? Yeah. Exactly how you say it. Mick Moody. Yes, I am. Storage. I'm going to skip that off. Uh, friends, happy to chat with you all. You're an awesome. Yes, sir. Well, I'm off to see friends. Thanks for popping by. Uh, Storage. You're an awesome person, Jicho. Keep up. Farewell, everyone. Farewell. Isn't that also the butterfly effect? Um, no, the butterfly effect is different, uh, Spider-Man. Butterfly effect says if you do something here, it has a chain reaction that it might do something here. I think quantum entanglement is the one that these two particles are linked together. Right? It's instantaneous. Sci like happens right away. Right? What you eating? I'm eating blueberry pie with feta cheese. Since you act, I'm asked. I'm gonna pop another one. Check it out. It's getting to the point. It's gonna be all drippy. So I gotta be a little bit careful with this guy. Take a look. So Mac Moody, I'm studying this stuff, but I have difficulty understanding why this is true in the actual world. Mac Moody, you're not the only one. I don't think anyone really understands why this thing works. You can see Yale's own press documents about it if you search for Yale Group Spurs Mao Zedong. Perps, how you doing? Spider-Man, no, the butterfly effect is a phenomenon that explains uh, simpl uh, simplistically what chaos theory is, which is dynamical systems are sensitive to initial conditions. Oh, way better put than I did, perps. What are we discussing today, Jim? Hello. Ooga booga, how are you doing? Uh, we're discussing, I don't know, all over the place. Yeah, all of blueberry pie with feta cheese fantastic is that how you spell pie mm -hmm. there should be a space between blueberry and pie i think yeah and that's how you spell pie p-i-e and the mathematics pie is just p-i the socialism kill the idea of striving for success no liquid sorts it doesn't okay what's the point of studying working hard for many years if everyone gets the same assets assets at the end of the day uh pleasure enjoyment creativity growing collaboration creating something magnificent it doesn't <laughs> like is your worth only the monetary worth that the state tells you it is or are you doing things out of pleasure right i think quantum entanglement has a lot of potential in information technology you could send information without sending a signal information sent quicker as the speed of light seems interesting very interesting what we do in life echoes in eternity ah martin awesome those are the great sayings <laughs> what we do in life echoes in eternity over a drink 
your Marx question. I didn't. Uh, I don't have an answer to the Marx question. I don't. I. You asked me if there is a country that had Marxism. Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. I think the idea is to give everyone a level playing field. I work. It's not, and it's and it's not. Socialism is not about everybody gets paid the same. It means everyone has equal opportunity, right? Everyone has equal opportunity. I don't think any place in socialistic philosophy says everyone gets paid the same. It's about equal opportunity, right? Do you believe in our current system right now that everybody has? equal opportunity you got to be out of your mind if you think that's the case do you have access to federal reserve money at zero percent interest absolutely not you do not right who has access to that money oh the ones who already have hundreds of billions of dollars so those who have hundreds of billions of dollars they get access to federal reserve money at zero percent interest basically okay meanwhile me and you joe blow that Maybe in debt, maybe just renting, maybe owning a little shack, maybe maybe making car payments, right? We, if we want access to that money, we need to pay how many percent interest? If you're lucky, buy a house, good deal, four percent mortgage, five, six, seven, eight, nine percent, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen percent. If you owe money in your credit, oh my, you're paying twenty-eight, thirty percent interest. You're telling me you joe blow can compete with the people who have hundreds of billions of dollars right who are paying zero percent interest while you're paying 30 percent interest and if there's a house or anything else on the market that you want to buy and they bid against you is is that is that seem fair oh by the way the zero percent interest that these hundred billion dollars worth of people multi-trillionaires are getting they're your money your tax money that they're giving them because the government has to pay back to them it's just a joke right just saying right expanding on the concept of what it means equal opportunity equal opportunity doesn't mean everyone gets paid the same equal opportunity means everybody has equal opportunity that's it right uh i'm gonna scroll down again gang legendary rob boss how are you doing doot, doot, doot. more pie coffee shop was packed so i'm at the slightly less packed tea shop nice i think you would love this place chicho they have so many types of teas awesome i normally get the milk oolong oh nice here but today I'm branching out and I'm trying this pineapple mango black tea. It's great. Nice. Nice, Coolio. Yep. We are set up uh, to fail or struggle at the very least. Yeah. And you have to go into ridiculous debt to get a degree to be able to work at these jobs. Like, it's, the whole thing is a sham. with feta cheese on the top mm -mm. not homemade i don't know how to make pie yet i know how to make some amazing pastries and at some point we'll get there but uh, i don't know how to make pie yet I know how to make pie like things. The people who run Federal Reserve banks, private banks, also give out large no recourse loans to their friends and family. No recourse means there's no penalty if you don't pay pay it back. Yeah. Then how are mm, then how are you supposed to escape from usury? just living broke um no i disagree i, I think i think getting uh, borrowing credit is not a bad thing but if you if you're not able to pay back your debt you have to go bankrupt they come and seize everything you have the banks weren't able to cover their debts and they got trillions of dollars in bailout funds 
that's not a playing field that's not an even playing field right all of a sudden the multi-trillionaires are trillions of dollars more wealthy than the people who got shammed right credit is not bad but everyone doesn't have equal opportunity to the same credit to the same loans and it's not people will come up here and says it's, it's, it's based on your credit rating if if, if if you've if you've made bad decision no it's not right because the banks made horrendous decisions it was by design by the way right they knew about it they knew financial crisis was coming so it's not about how good of a safe of an investment these people are relative to you it has nothing to do with that you have never forfeited on trillions of dollars of debt to require trillion dollars of bailout money right if if it was all based on credit rating everybody here including your two and three year old siblings right would have better credit than almost all the banks in the united states all right i'm so sad i'm off the therapy now i'll catch you later spider-man i hope you have a fantastic day okay and i hope the therapy went well and it's all good thank you for popping by tata for now spider-man coolio says don't go outside to crowded areas reduce risk of uh cv we have lots of practice not going outside legendary rob boss gamers are the safest people on on the planet right now maybe right the predatory how are you doing welcome to the live stream it's better from a good deli pastry shop anyway yeah homemade pies can be fantastic homemade pies are amazing i've had some amazing homemade pies that other people made do you think that we as collective humans will be able to reverse the effects of climate change or do you think that all of our efforts are too late no i don't think it's too late and i don't think i think the climate will do what it needs to do to balance itself out the climate is a very complex system right our atmosphere is a very complex system sure we're having certain effects on it but when the time comes the atmosphere might do a hiccup and make sure we revert back to where we need to be rest in peace freeman dyson liquid swords why does the government bail out the banks because the the banks control the government that would be an interesting video you trying a pie recipe my <laughs> i really enjoyed those crab apple butter videos you made a while back yeah uh the bestest uh we will be doing more food videos for sure we go through batches i do sometimes a lot of politics and a lot of mathematics and a lot of food and a lot of comic books and stuff like this so we will get back into the food into the kitchen soonish as soon as we start getting some fresh fruits and stuff coming in yeah bailouts were very uncapitalistic in capitalism the inefficient should just fade away the public bailing them out is far away from the idea of capitalism the fundamental flaws of the financial system weren't fixed they were just postponed 100 percent hey man hello from fellow awakened individual dapper roo how are you doing welcome welcome to our live stream capitalism requires a permanent underclass this myth that we can all pull ourselves up by our bootstraps is just that a myth capitalism will always require a poor majority working class from whom profit is extracted from coolio chicho do you think that the american empire is going to survive into the next generation yes uh, I think the most dangerous thing about the arrogance of the Americans is power um, is that they think they will always be in power coolio I agree with you and it, it really depends on what your next generation is generation is not a long period right like information generation is going on like five-year intervals like even even reduced like if you look at high school kids those in grade 11 and 12 are using different types of ass than those in grade eight and nine like it's crazy so information generational gap is like that but if we're talking generational in a society like lifestyle what is that now 15 years 20 years i think the american empire is still going to be around for another 
10, 15 years, right? Uh, we'll see what happens. It'll probably be around for another 30, 40 years, possibly, right? But things are changing. And the empires, especially the American empire, is not going to go down without a fight uh, or without burning the earth, the earth right? They're, they're doing scorched earth mentality right now. If you ever played board, war board games and stuff, once you lose an area, you burn it down. And that's what the United States is doing right now all over the world. We'll see how it plays out. You don't believe that, uh, that the increase in world drought will eventually have devastating consequences for our resources? Uh, McMoody, sure, there's going to be the climate is going to have devastating consequences for human beings there's areas becoming desert there's desert desertification happening in certain areas and permafrost zones are now no longer permafrost right sure the climate is going to do what it does we're just going to start moving around mass migrations we're going to see mass migrations of tens of millions of people for sure 100 percent. but that doesn't mean it's the end of the world it might be the end of the economic system that that country was functioning under, but it doesn't mean it's the end of the world. People are too dramatic about this. It's not the end of the world. Just because people's reality gets shattered about how their political system was supposed to be structured and their dreams weren't fulfilled because they were putting their money into their RRSP or into the stock market and assuming they're going to, you know, the house price is going to go up and, you know, the water level is going to stay the same and their food security, the food chain is going to stay the same. That all of a sudden, 50 years down the road, all that didn't play out their way. That's not the end of the world. That's them putting their faith in a corrupt system and a flawed system right end of the world means a gigantic 20 kilometer asteroid comes and hits the earth and woof, <laughs> we're done right just because an economic system collapses it doesn't mean it's the end of the world oh i've always wondered is crab apple butter sweet or sour it's tart it's sweet and tart so it's like lip smacking very delicious coolio i've had a crab apple uh before but i remember it being very bitter um, i think tart is the right word you want to use tart it's very tart they're slowly losing their power though oh for sure halim they are that's the reason why the peace agreement was signed in afghanistan the u.s is pulling back in areas they need to fortify what they have right now right they're still the only superpower on, of the world, as Putin stated. But they're not as powerful as 20 years ago. Agreed, agreed. For example, they can't just go and invade random places as easily as before now. Agreed, Ali. Yeah. Coolio. I feel like it's very clear that China has been empowered from all sides. That they and nation of farmers in the 60s, now look at them. They've gone, got more advanced tech than anyone else uh, the Wi-Fi here is making the stream skip around but I got the gist okay cool yeah okay I think I'm gonna scroll down again gang I'm gonna scroll down uh, to the bottom again I just want to make sure I'm staying out with the chat uh, if there's anything that was directed towards me please uh, post a comment again I'll look it up there's some conversations taking place So one person has read Dune since the recommendation. Nice. I know Olive. I don't know if she's still here. Olive bought Dune as well. Liquid swords. Do you drink any type of alcohol? If so, then do you have a drink of choice? My liqueurs liquid swords do a search for chicho here let me bring it up chicho liqueurs um which one was our original i don't even know which one was our original oh this one was our original this was our original liqueur video so i make my own liqueurs okay 
They're super delicious, fantastic. I highly recommend. And we've put out a few other liqueur videos as well. <coughs> okay. Uh, I think there's like four total liqueur videos. Uh, I drink liqueurs, homemade liqueurs, and they're amazing. Okay. Olive. I have not read it yet, but I have a copy waiting for me on my bookshelf. Awesome. Just so you know, Olive, someone else came up and said, uh, because of our recommendation, they ended up buying Dune and they loved it. They finished reading it and they thought it was phenomenal. So that's one person saying yes. Why does capitalism need a permanent underclass? I personally don't think it does. Someone else said that, so it's a zero. Some people say that. Some some people thesis is that cast what capitalism needs. Some people interpret capitalism as having that. I disagree. It's a zero sum gain game. Everybody can't be rich, or everybody, uh, or uh, else nobody is. And rickety rocket. I don't think everybody wants to be rich. Does everybody want to be rich? I don't. Not on that level, right? I like to own my own house and have a studio where I could do all this work, stream, have have the tech, and but that's not rich. That's having the equipment, this location you need to be able to produce content, right? To create, right? Do I want to own a bank? No. Do I want to own a building and have a lot of tenants in there and collect rent money? No, right? I don't think the premise of everybody uh, capitalism doesn't work because everybody need everybody can't be rich is flawed because everybody doesn't want to be rich i don't think everybody wants to be rich there i know people who would love to have a space where they just play music right who can do their exercise who can just be outdoors all the time right it's people all everybody doesn't want the same thing right i wouldn't like for example I wouldn't pay anyway we won't go there is it is everybody doesn't want to be rich right everybody wants to be uh able to buy the medicine they need to get if they're sick they need they everyone wants to have access to education to health care to food security and stuff and that's not rich that's reasonable right? that's that's what society should be providing to their citizens if any country wants to see their country be prosperous into the future should be making sure their citizens are educated to, to their best of their desires not the centralized state's desires but the individual's desires they should try to make sure that everybody in their country is healthy right they should try to make sure that everybody in their country has a community that they can turn to for help like that's a given that doesn't mean everybody wants to be rich that means everybody wants to live in peace and be with their families and play music and eat and cook and all that jazz right i have not read the papa i want to read it i tried to watch the old movie but oh my god i couldn't the rhythm was too slow uh halim read the book read the book for sure very relevant to present day political economic situation and it was written in the 60s right that's a very fitting imagery i wish more people understood the disparity of wealth and opportunity Ch chicho the sleeper has awakened martin <laughs> fear is the mind killer oh got me more excited to read in that nice olive so a few um understand that wealth is opportunity if you and what is wealth matthew if you come from money you don't have to work but uh, to put yourself through school you have more time to study and can attain higher grades you can be more picky with the jobs you go go for as you are in no hurry for a source of income you do not get caught in a trap matthew i agree with you right 100% if you have the funds it buys you freedom right so everybody here if you're dealing with finances and stuff make sure you build a buffer so you buy yourself freedom however when you define wealth as money that is flawed argument right wealth is not money I know people who are multi-millionaires who some of one of them passed away who multi-millionaire he would have given up his whole wealth all of it to be healthy again right 
wealth is not just money currency your bank account right I'll, I'll give you the example of Bob Marley again right I've, I've mentioned this example a few times where an interviewer was asking Bob Marley Marley are you rich right and Marley's laughing is having a good time he goes rich uh, yeah I'm rich and then he, he pauses halfway he goes around uh, what, what do you mean by rich he goes well can you go to the bank and withdraw a million dollars right and Mar Bob Marley laughs he goes no man no man I can't go to a bank and withdraw a million dollars but I am rich I have friends I have family I have security I have people that care about me I have my music I am rich right what is wealth for me I got my books man I'm a wealthy human being I got good food to eat I got good people around me I'm having amazing conversations now do I need more more capital coming in so I can do more yeah hell yeah All right but do I need to own a bank no do I need to own multiple buildings around the world I don't know why why if I had that I couldn't be doing this I love doing this why would I want that All right oh man i missed a lot on chat <laughs> i'm gonna scroll down again gang apologies for scrolling down gang happiness is wealth love is wealth knowledge is wealth like so much things are wealth this is just playing with definitions though but that's the key you have to right Negative says, I don't know what that is, <laughs> bro. I'm speaking of material wealth. I should have been more precise. I do think it is perhaps privileged to believe you can be happy, free, secure, etc., whilst not having the degree of wealth. Uh, okay, Matthew, now that you're being more specific, uh, material wealth to a certain degree, I agree with you, right? We need to have a buffer, right? You need to be able to make sure you're taking care of take care of business right it doesn't work all the time sometimes you need help you go into debt but once you're into debt try to get yourself out of debt and go above that line and build your buffer right but what is that buffer how much buffer do you need right there are people that can stop working right now right live for a thousand years spending thousands of dollars a day Do I want that? No. Right? Like, why would I want that? Like, it wasn't Keanu Reeves that made a ton of money off the Matrix and said, man, I got enough money. I don't need all this money. And he donated all the, all the money he had to the special effects people. Right? Why did he do that? Because he reached his limit. The problem with a lot of people is they keep on chasing the carrot. Right? When they get what they wanted, they want more. Because those people ahead of them are dangling another carrot, right? Dangle a carrot, dangle a carrot, chase the carrot. Don't chase the carrot. Stay true to yourself, right? Capitalism takes wealth away from some people. You could build wealth together. All you need is love, Martin. I have a piano now. That makes me happy. I don't need much more right now perfect and that is all of by the way what you just said is important what's making you happy right now what's giving you the opportunity to create content share be with people you love right is that good for you right now is that good enough for you right now if that's making you happy stick with it keep your eyes on the future right see what's coming down the road but don't live for the future live in the moment right keanu is a cool dude 100 percent agree my piano and i are happy couple <laughs> nice <laughs> chicho uh just being inducted as chairman of a charity organization are you nix what type of charity getting things you don't earn often changes people yeah look up i've i've known people who've been what is it uh born with a silver spoon in their mouth i know some people have been born with a golden spoon in their mouth some of those people are pretty messed up man right is there hope for anything for sure vanderveld 
yes but keanu reeves was the exception he understood it but it's a rare blessing statistically speaking halim yes and why is that it's because our social structures haven't put the put the amazing stuff on the forefront who's to blame for that we are in large part right because we were chasing the carrot but right now a lot of people have stopped chasing the carrot really i used to chase the carrot like i've made a lot of money in the markets and i've lost a lot of money in the markets right i've lived flush to the top right and i've lived poor beggar right i wouldn't want to be poor beggar and i don't want to go to that flush period on that level that was insane right i want that right statistically once you go through a wave like this once you hit hard and you lift yourself up all of a sudden you keep your eyes on the prize you know where it's at right those people who are still chasing the carrot they don't get it whoops didn't mean to capitalize sorry no worries Keanu was a man of his generation awesome wealth means nothing if you're dead real value is something that sustains life and builds up rather than destroys so many people invest and spend on things that tear people and societies down not realizing it's actually hurting them in the long run yeah and by the way legendary robots well put and one of the things we're seeing right now is with cv taking hold in different countries right all of a sudden people are realizing wait a second if certain countries aren't equipped to handle an epidemic like this then that's gonna filter out to them as well right oops maybe it was a bad idea putting so much pressure on certain countries and certain people to make them so poor that if anything happens to them then that is going to come back to us so that's blowback on an economic front there's something called blowback on a military front where you destroy a place and then people get pissed and they come after you right and then there's blowback on an economic front where you put so much pressure on a certain region that all of a sudden disease something takes hold there and that comes into your country oops maybe we should have treated people better and realized that it wasn't about chasing the carrot right what makes me happy right now is my family and my friends i guess all i need more is soulmate nice luca and i hope uh, you find an amazing soulmate wow i'm gonna zoom down um sorry i'm skipping chat again a little bit gang i'm just going to one uh, where nick sass has got chicho on here uh, i was just inducted we are a young men's organization that focuses on the improvement of our community and those in up unprivileged situations we have our own charity projects and initiates uh init initiatives but we also support multiple other charities awesome nick Zaz. fantastic i hope you guys do well and keep it decentralized and local liquid source do you have any book uh, recommendations regarding political ideology oh man we've made so many book recommendations if you go to youtube we have a book club that's my youtube channel and there's a book club uh that we have uh, here this this here i'll give you three right now okay here yeah sure skin in the game by skin in the game by nasim nicholas talib great book we've done readings of this in our book club uh playlist okay very good book days of destruction days of revolt by chris hedges and joe sacco fantastic book depressing as but important book to read to know what's going on you'll understand the term um well you'll understand a fair bit right but you'll understand the term sacrifice zone wilhelm reich the mass psychology of fascism okay to understand i'm only halfway through this thing heavy read heavy read you'll get a pretty good perspective of what it means uh what fascism what the root support of fascism is and where it comes from when it's what it's trying to do and also this one gore vidal 
Perpetual War for Perpetual Peace, How We Got to Be So Hated. Very quick read, very important read, okay? Four books regarding politics, geopolitical, um, to a certain degree, but more domestic U.S., but economics related, and four recommendations. Start off with Gore Vidal. It's a quick read, okay? Chicho, we are local clubs that make up a provincial area, that makes up a national area, that makes a continental area, and then we have an international organization. We are a bottom-up organization. Awesome. Nick Zass. Correct me from, from elsewhere, but do, 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 comfort equals happiness. I love books about the Knight Templar. What do you like more or less about books than movies? Um, they're way more intricate, way more thought-provoking books for sure hey told me rules are just guidelines for idiots skin in the game hidden asymmetries in daily life days of destruction days of revolt the mass psychology of fascism perpetual war for perpetual truth just writing it down awesome Ali. awesome i've been reading the book uh sapien lately it is so interesting and i have the sequel home dos as well awesome i don't know those books sapien i might have heard from i was born in boston but moved to amsterdam age one it's nice over here but the taxes man the taxes the tax man's coming for everyone i think explain why you have a better view of life as to look olive do you know of the mathematician eric weinstein he has a great podcast called the portal oh, i've listened to the portal yeah very interesting conversations yeah someone else recommended the portal before and i've listened to not very many i think i've listened to like f three or four uh podcasts that they put out uh pretty fun pretty fun nice information nice brain uh brain motivation right much appreciation take notes to all the books you mentioned We'll remember them and give them a try. Awesome liquid source. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy. All right. Okay, gang. We're coming up to two hours. What do you think? We load this on YouTube. I think we're gonna load it on YouTube, man. Let it be known. <laughs> See where it takes us. <laughs> right. Tomorrow morning we're gonna do a Corona CV live stream from 8 a.m. until 10 p.m. We're gonna look at the data okay most likely i'm only going to do a five minute ten minute intro and then we're going to hit the data because i do want to load that up on youtube as well which i get ding for like seriously getting nailed right uh but that needs to go out as well so i'll try to put the data together um so i got a little bit of work to do on this end uh for tomorrow's stream uh, what are your thoughts on Assange's lawyers claiming the U.S. and Spanish company bugged the Ecuadorian embassy when Assange was there and considered kidnapping? Uh, it's true. <laughs> like, there, there isn't nothing I can say that I think about it. But yeah, for sure, they, like, it's fact. What do I think about it? Well, the case should be dismissed, right? And legal proceedings should be brought on the U.S. government as well as the Spanish company that was doing that, right? politics is too heavy i prefer a good shakespeare play <laughs> shakespeare that's pure politics right well give me uh give my endorsement to mass psychology of fascism pretty crucial read for for the times pretty crucial read for the times chicho i've read sapien too great book easy read is it awesome all of thank you for the second and if you guys are on discord post that on i know all of you are on there if you can post that on uh someone post it on i'll try to remember to post it as well on our book uh, uh book folders we got two of them light reading and heavy reading i need to go hope i uh, i need to go i need to go cool i hope uh, to be able to watch the stream tomorrow it's been cool bye everyone see you next time see you next time halim i don't know if i'll have it up tomorrow halim by the way uh, it might be up in a couple of days. We see. Is the Laffer curve an accurate way of measuring the tax issue? I don't have to look at it, liquid sorts. I don't know the names. I just know the curves and graphs sometimes. 
I will be more free tomorrow. Busy tonight in pub. Oh yeah, you're in the pub right now. It's night time. Enjoy the pub, Martin. Hope you guys have a fantastic time. Are you a third? Oh man, right at the end we got a little troll action coming in. Hold on. We're gonna take care of this business right away. Hey. Ah, oh, that's okay. Okay, gang. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for taking care of business. Martin, thank you for taking care of business. And all the other mods that were here earlier on. Um, thank you for the recommendations. Thank you for the conversations. Bye, gang. Bye, Olive. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow if you can make it. Bye for now.